Thank you for joining today's webinar on Trimble's Irrigate IQ Precision Irrigation Solution. As many of you know, water is one of our most precious commodities or precious resources. And depending on where you're located around the world, whether it's in the United States or another country, you're probably impacted in one way or another as it relates to water. So you might be in an area where you might be seeing drought conditions, whether they're just might be slightly minimal or they might be pretty extreme. You might be also in an area where aquifers might be being depleted. You could even be in an area where your aquifers are being replenished but they're being contaminated with uh, chemical intake such as your liquid fertilizers that might be going down or effluent that might be applied. There's also other situations where water is being regulated based on there's being pumping requirements placed on wells so you might have flow meters installed on your well heads that are being supplied to out to your irrigation systems themselves so you might be limited to only applying six eight ten twelve inches of water a year depending on what which region you're currently at trimble has seen this accumulate over time so we've brought forth the precision irrigation solution called irrigate iq which is currently available on both Valley and Zematic systems. But if you're familiar with the Trimble Agriculture Division, you see that we're a brand agnostic. So we're always looking to expand that out. So currently we support these two different systems. But like I said, we are brand agnostic. So we're always looking to up that as much as we can. The solution is also a scalable type design. You can start off on more or less an entry level type solution and just do a simple pivot monitor and control type solution where you're going to just have on off functionality you'll be able to see your bearing of your irrigator you also be able to change your pump so either turn your pump on or turn it off we also have the full variable rate and section control solution so wherever you have a drop neck or a gooseneck or a nozzle installed whatever you may call them in your particular area we can install a control valve so you can couple in individual nozzle control across either just one portion of your irrigator or across the whole system. And this is all upgradable as well. So you can start off with the simple monitor only type functionality and then advance up to the full variable rate as time permits. This is also a very accurate solution. So when we go out and we design a system and we outfit it with the hardware and we import the requirements into the control software, we bring in the pump requirement, the men's and max pump constraints. We also bring in the overall pipe size of the irrigation system. We bring in the tip chart so we know exactly what tip is installed on each gooseneck and where it's installed on each span or on each tower. We know how the actual pivot operates itself, so the gallons per minute at which it operates, what its pressure requirements are. So we bring all that together so when you do take advantage of a full variable rate type solution, or that section control solution and you're shutting off individual nozzles or turning on certain groupings of nozzles, it's not going to impact your system in a negative way. If you start to up this and create very intricate type of variable rate zones where it might not be able to handle what your pump can output, you can always couple that in with the variable frequency drive so then you're taking full advantage of the solution even more. You can always start off on a minimal scale and start to work your way up. It's also very easy to use. We have dealerships located across the country that are already authorized to sell this product. They've been fully trained on the system. They're comfortable with the system. They can service the system. And so they install the hardware and then they sit you up in the system and go ahead and give you training on how to use the software itself. And you can start off by just simply drawing in your own prescriptions or you can import in latitude and longitudes. Like I said, this is a scalable solution. If we're looking at our irrigator currently out there in the field, if we just want to know what's bearing, if we just want to turn it on, turn it off, take advantage of the mobile app that we might have on our iPhone or our Android device, uh, if we just want to view where it's located at the field, turn it on to, to water an area or turn the water off, we can do that with the pivot control only solution. So we'll go out and we'll install a box next to the center point, and from there we'll be able to do that. If we want to take advantage of the variable rate technology, that's where we'll install that same type box that you would install in the pivot control only solution, but we'll also install individual control valves on either all of the goosenecks or nozzles 
or we might only install it on one particular span. If you want to do variable rate and section and control across your entire length of your irrigator, we can do that. Or maybe you just might have one span that might cross the canal or might go over a pond. And obviously there's no need to apply water to a pond, so we might put those control valves across that one particular span or across those goosenecks that go over that particular zone. So we're not applying excess water to areas that may not need it. This is also currently integrated with the Connected Farm dashboard. In the left illustration here, the dashboard, if you're not familiar with it, is a place where you can go as a farmer, you can view your current weather, you can view the Doppler maps, you can view the Board of Trade to see what commodity prices are doing. If you're taking advantage of the Trimble Fleet Tracking Solution and you have multiple vehicles out, multiple operators, you can see where they're currently out operating in the field. Bring in current field reports, things like that. But now you can also view your irrigators in the dashboard as well. So we can view where all our irrigators are at, of course, as well as what the bearings are. Are they currently applying? Are they currently not applying any liquid? And then we also have the Connected Farm Irrigate app available for mobile devices. So if you were to install this solution on your system today, you could download this app on your mobile device, and you'd also be able to view the bearing. You'd be able to see what your current irrigator is doing. Is it applying? If it is applying, at what rate is it applying? What's the pressure at? What's your current voltage? Is your end gun on? Which prescription are you using? And so you can go ahead and view all that information right off your mobile app. Or maybe you're out there harvesting your corn crop and you need to move your pivot away those last couple rows so you can harvest what's under that pivot. You can go ahead and just do that right off your mobile app and never have to leave a seat of the combine. The benefits to you as a customer, the best ones right off the bat, reducing water waste. If you have zones out there in the field that might not require as much water as another particular zone. We can try to achieve that. If you have an exclusion zone, or maybe you have a road going out to the center point that you just, you just get tired of fighting the mud whenever you have to transverse that road to go refill a chemigation tank that's sitting next to the center point, we can apply that section control to shut off those valves as it crosses that road, which all this in return can help reduce pumping costs or electrical costs. We can take advantage of SIS mapping. We can run across, uh, soil information systems across your fields. We can bring in electromagnetic type solutions. We can map out water holding capacities, different soil types. So we can take full advantage of those soil conditions and then we're not wasting water. Maybe we have one area of the field that's a little bit more sandy than the other where that water just seeps right on through versus another area that might be a little more dense. There's also the ability to report on what you have applied. If you use your irrigator to apply fertigation or effluent, you'll be able to see a report of where that material was applied, by how much, and when it was applied. Currently, there's numerous of these systems running in New Zealand. New Zealand's pretty regulated on how much nitrogen levels can go into the ground. And actually, if you can report on what you've applied and prove that you're being a good operator, you actually get better at water allocation. Um, that's usually not always the case, depending on where you are. But based on where things are always moving, reporting might become a big deal where we might have to prove to certain entities or, or water boards or whomever it might be of what we're actually doing. If we are taking advantage of systems that can actually save water or save fertilizer or whatever it might be. What can we do with it? So we can monitor, so we can simply monitor where our irrigators are. We can control them by planning. We can create different zones in our fields, and then from there we can actually apply that material. You can start to monitor it right off of the dashboard. You can do it off of that mobile app that we discussed about, or you can do it directly out of the software. The software is a web-based platform. If you're going to control it, or you can even monitor it right here from the software, you log into this software, which is available whenever you have internet connection. If you're looking at this illustration right here, this is a live screenshot of a real pivot of a real irrigation system. And you'll notice right there on the bat, there's, there's some easy to use buttons. So you have your simple forward reverse functionality, your stop. You can change your application depth. So if you want to apply that full application rate across the entire field, or you want to do 50% or 25% of what that system can handle, you can simply change that. And then you also see the water, the fert, the effluent, and the dry buttons going down the left-hand side. So within those different buttons is where we can set up different prescriptions. 
So for example, on the water, you might go out there and work with the soil advisor and create a map that applies to different soil conditions in the field. Or maybe you have different crop types in the field, and those two different crop types require different amounts of water. We can set up different prescriptions, so as that irrigator transverses its way around that field, it's going to be applying the right amount of water at the right time at the right location. Same thing applies to fertilizer or effluent, so your liquid manure. The benefit to this system is these control valves open. There's no impact of running effluent or liquid manure through these. So if you're around a dairy operation and you want to pump in that effluent, there'll be no limitation to our control valves because of that. And then, of course, you can run it dry. So there's the ability to come in here and manage all these different zones or all these different resources that you're applying. You can also plan for these. If you notice on that last slide, there's a couple different tabs across the top. One was variable, one was pastures, one was um, no spray zones. So you can come in and you can create and manage and upload different irrigation plans or different no spray zones for those particular fields. So right here we're looking at a very intricate variable rate map for this particular field. This individual worked with a uh, soil advisor, created this variable rate zone and they've coupled this together with the variable rate technology on their irrigation system. That way those particular zones are getting the right amount of water. You can either do this pretty intricate like we've shown here where you would import in the physical latitude and longitude coordinates of those different zones or maybe you don't have a soil advisor in your area or you haven't gone that far yet but you know some parts of your field are a little more sandy and require less water or you know that there's a particular zone that tends to do a little bit better in certain conditions. We can draw in those by hand as well. You don't need to import physical latitude and longitude coordinates, but you can simply draw them in by hand just using your mouse cursor right there on the software itself. So from all those different zones, we can go ahead and apply. As you see here in this picture, we have a little wiper system down here in the corner. It's currently got a status of off. Uh, we see it's bearing, and you see a red zone, a blue zone, and then you also see a darkish gray zone as well. This operator has determined that these particular zones may require more water, may require less water, or maybe those even might be no spray zones. There might be something in that particular area that he doesn't want applied with water. It doesn't want applied with effluent. It looks like there's a couple roads out there in that gray zone, maybe even some type of structure. So as that irrigator transverses over those roads, those individual nozzles have that ability to turn off. So that's all being done with a combination of both the physical hardware that's installed on the system itself being controlled also by the software. So as that irrigation system moves across those particular zones, GPS information is allowing us to determine which nozzles are where, and then we can actuate those valves to either apply different rates. It might need more water, it might need less water, or maybe it doesn't need any water at all. We can turn that entire valve off completely or turn it back on depending on what type of situation you're in. This all goes back to smart irrigation, so taking full advantage of that resource. Using GPS, we can calculate that speed and the direction of that pivot. So we'll always know where it's at. We'll know where all those control valves are located across that irrigation system itself. And then by using GIS type systems, we can generate those selective irrigation patterns, creating those different manageable zones. Or we can create them by hand like we discussed as well. And then through that, we'll actuate those valves. See here, we have a pretty intricate variable rate map. So you're probably wondering, well, is that going to impact the overall irrigation system? Is it going to impact my pivot? Is it going to impact the pressure at which the system operates or impact or the gallon per minute? Is there pump constraints that it might be not accounting for? Well, as you can see in this bottom illustration, we've actually input the maximum pump flow versus the minimum pump flow. So we can see when that irrigator goes across different zones, that system is going to act differently. We want to know what are the pump constraints. We obviously don't want to hurt the pump or damage the pump, but we want to take full advantage of the system as well. We give you this illustration, so when you're about ready to apply a different prescription and send it across to the system, it's going to show you a graph like this and say, hey, you might be exceeding the minimum flow of your pump. You might be damaging your pump. We don't want to do that. It's giving you that ability to see, well, where is it being impacted at, and we can go back and edit it.
There's also that ability if you're starting to create these different very intricate maps, we can couple this together with those variable frequency drives and then open up these parameters even more. As far as the hardware side of things, when we go out there, we're going to install a little control panel, which you see in that top picture. The control panel interfaces directly with the irrigation system itself. It's wired into not only the OEM panel, but into the slip ring as well. And then from there, that's basically the whole computer of the operation. It's what's sending out the commands to, to open or close those valves or to change directions or to start or stop the system. That's where you're going to have your GPS communications. You're going to have your different cellular communications. And so this was developed specifically for this type of situation. It does capture and transmits that data across the entire system. So it communicates back to the software that might be located on your laptop or you the software you might be running off of your mobile phone. And then we can install this across the entire pivot itself, including corner arms, if that's something you have in your particular field. In this bottom picture here, we're looking at a zematic system. We have control valves installed on all these goosenecks as they're coming off that span. If we want to basically turn one of those goosenecks off, we're going to send it a signal, and it's actually going to open that, open a solenoid off, which in return closes that valve. Water is actually going to be used to actually send pressure and close that valve and complete that actually spraying through that entire nozzle. In this case, these control valves are installed on every gooseneck, and there's also a, another cable that runs alongside of it, which is basically sending the signal to actuate those individual valves themselves. From all of these things, the software provides the full access for your particular view. Um, you can view it from your laptop. You can go ahead and view it from your office. You can do it off of a mobile device, such as your, your iPhone or your Android device. And that provides direct connectivity out to your irrigation system itself. We'll always see a live report of where those systems are, what their current bearings are, and what they're applying. You have that ability to create different, uh, different types of prescriptions, whether it applies directly to a water-based solution or a fertilizer or an effluent-based solution. And then in the end, you can always report back on what you did apply. Feel free to visit the Trimble dot com website and go ahead and navigate to the agriculture and, and under that you'll find the irrigate IQ solution and from there you can locate particular dealers that are authorized to sell the product in your area and they can always provide you with more information as well you can also sign up to receive more information on this product too future if you want to be included on those particular emails